camera rolling. Camera rolling. And and action. action. Good morning, uh, Roman. Good morning, Jose. How are you? I'm very good. Very very lovely day. Okay. Could you please introduce uh, yourself to us? My name is Raymond Roman. I'm from Torah Conservancy. I have been born and bred here. Okay. So what are, what is it that you are doing here? I'm a farmer. I could say I'm just on a farm and uh, with a conservancy around. Okay. And right now I had you at uh, tra uh, training. What training is it? What are you it's, training it's here? About uh, film photography crew assistant uh, to familiarize myself with uh, the, the cameras, how it works, and uh, uh, if uh, crews come, then I can assist them. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Uh, doing fine. Um, Mr. Roti, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I am Roti Ruchani from Tulemba Conservancy. Now I came to just to learn about the, as a photographer, I mean to take pictures or so photograph, a true photograph I mean. Okay, uh, what do you think you can learn out of this that you can go back to the community with? I just want you even to even familiarize myself with the, the whole process. I mean, once I took this lesson, then I will tell my, my, my community that's it. But I haven't learned about abuse here. Well, I'm Hipose, Navinea Hipose. I'm from Omachete, Daura's constituency. What we will be doing here is We'll be taught about how to use a camera, how to film. We are currently here at Verald's End, looking for a filming training. If I get the basics to photography, and uh, when people come, I can assist them. And in this way, I can also uh, teach the people of the community also about photography and uh, the benefits about uh, uh, photography. And so far, uh, how do you find it? I find it very well. Uh, it's very interesting yeah, stuff, isn't it? It's very interesting, yes. Okay. So you will be applying this in your environment? Exactly, like, actually, exactly. Wow. I will tell them the, the whole feedback, what I have learned here. Okay, what is the name of your conservancy again? Otulemba Conservancy. My biggest fear was not knowing the people that I that we were going to be trained with and who are the people that were going to train us. That made me very anxious up to yesterday when we started the whole training. <laughs> Okay. Wendy, a word is uh, you are in charge of the uh, the kitchen around here. Mm -hmm. What is it that you actually do in the kitchen? What is your magic here? I do cook work for ten men. Say now, I be on black. Then make it for ant. Make it for a braai for. A braai, hundred flies braai, and then make it for a rice and soap with onions and wortels. Okay. Make it now for and for a Okay. Now how long is uh how long is he? It is six, seven, twenty years here, and world's end. And it get work for seven years work. For consequences, mensen wat kom ook gekook voor mm. 50 of 100 mensen wat in gekom het. Mm. So ek sit reeds nog met mensen nou hier. As ons van uh, werelds end hoor, wat, wat hoor ons? Wat, eindelijk, wat word jy gedoen? Hier so is nou die, en uh, waar minder men aan uh, dinge senda, is nou die wild aan uh, 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 Nee, je moet die wereld uh, monitor en kijken of hulle hier is, of hulle water moet krijgen, 
Aber ihr nicht denkt, was ihr nur denkt, muss ich hier nicht so ein Olifant, was wir hier jetzt tun, ist jeden Tag noch. Wader gegeben, dass er fair bleibt und sie ist ab. Und es ist es, Welt es und äh, es ist ein Lodge, ein Kampfzeit, oder was kann hier an Englisch? Nee, das ist ja ein Lodge, das ist ein Kampfzeit, aber die Kampfzeit ist ja, äh, Menschen müssen hier so kommen und kommen bleiben, so lange, aber es ist um Menschen, so ist die Konsequenz dieser Menschen, die Hand hier. Die Hand hier, okay. Ja, danke, Mo. No. Wil het nog een keer iets hier voor en toe? Vraag, ik ken je of je nog, of je dit kan antwoorden. Zie ik eens van je antwoord. Is is er dieren hier rondom? Ja, hier is dieren. Daar is leeuws hier zo in die veld. Daar is een leopard. Ons het ook een keer twee, maar het twee weken met leopard geplei in de kam. En dan hier rond. Hier rond in de kamer met ons. Hier bij die kamzijde. Hier in die kamzijde met ons. Ah, leper gepleeg had. Maar onze toch reeds natuurlijk werd ons gepeel en hij let. Waarom gaan we weg gevat van ons af? Oké. Heel goed. Ja, dank je. Oké, plezier. Ja. Als je vijf uur is. Moet je bij die gaan brengen die kook en kook voor jullie gas. Pak je deze koos van de gang. Vijf uur. Na vijf. Als je bij die gang gekregen hebt van een olifant of iets. Hier is je koos. Hier is je koos. Als je bij die gang gekregen hebt. Ik is met die main man van die plek. Ja. Yo, wat alles ik ken. Ja. Hij zei die John. Ja. Gaan goed, hoe gaan het met jou? Alright. Wat is Isa nou? John Stinka. Oké. Okay. Ik werk voor IRDNC. Kan je voor ons alsjeblieft een hier rondom wees? Ja, ja. ik wees je. Eén <coughs> dag. Ja. Ik, ik denk dat het zo half zes of, of kwart voor vijf. Toen brandde die, die plek. Toen die plek gebrand, alle man had gezweest dat hij de kamp gebouwd had. Zo. Hij wil iets gebouwd voor SRT. Mm -hmm. Toen brandde die plek af. Hier, hier, hier die gebouw was af. Hij was af, hij was hier daar. In die klipgoed was hier. Ja, maar wat voor gebouw is die? Als die centa, waar die consument is altijd bij elkaar komt. Ah. In, in, in de wildermen centa, wat zie je daar dan? Hier is een centa. Hier ding was weer oorgebouw. Is dit waar jullie training zien? Hier... Ja, die consument is. Die consument is. Oké. Okay. MIT, Polytech. Politiek om ook cursus ook hier zo van zondag tot vrijdag, vrijdag gaan we dat terug. Dus we zijn samen met de vader geleverd. Toen we hier de laatste dag, kom ik hier met de laat terug. Slapen we daar aan, met de ogen pak. Gaan we dat terug. Wat die is die centa? Ja, hier is die centa. Training aan de variële. Waar al de training steeds plezier is. Is hier in die kantoor? Ja, we zijn ook gedeeld met Telegram. We zijn gebruikt naar de WhatsApp. Die die andere volgen. Firstly, my name is Timo. And I'm from Swako, from the coast. Born and bred. I am not good at this kind of shit. But either way, I'm in them both today. I volunteer for an organization called Tosco. Tourism, Supporting Conservation. I'm a um, field officer for the Game Guards uh, program, Living with Wildlife, um, in four conservancies at the moment, actually three, going for four, um, out of the 87 conservancies where, I, where we support them through funding, funding equ uh, uniforms, equipment, tents, uh, what have you not. So yeah, that's, that's basically my life and uh, Busy writing a few emails here. This is my my good friend and colleague Rodney Chavara, ne? Yes, Rodney Chavara. And uh, yeah, maybe you can carry on with him. Yeah, no, I done. Afternoon, Rodney. Afternoon. How are you? 
Stan and you? I'm good. Uh, I heard you are a lion ranger right here, around here. Yes. Uh, can you please tell us more about uh, lion rangers? What do you guys actually do? We are looking after the lions. Okay. Just to protect the lion. Mm -hmm. And then we are looking for, we are staying between the farmers and the lions. Just to protect the lions and the farmer also. Okay, how do you do that? Is uh, there any method that you guys use to do to, to protect the lions from the farmers and the farmers from the lions in case of uh, when the lion collide with the farmer? What do you do? Yes, when the lions come closer to the farmers, we are using the fireworks for to chase the lions when they are closer to the farmers. Yeah. So we are using the fireworks and then the fireworks, the, those things help us to chase the lions away from the Okay. Mm. And so far, uh, well, what experience have you came along in this whole process? I think I started already for two years ago, mm. work like a volunteer, mm. or by my own. And from there, so let's take seven years ago, uh, this about this problem, pro problem about the lions to keep the lions alive and with life conflict and with life conflict. So, uh, just like that. So you are also from Tosco? Yes, I'm now, is by, um, I'm working for Tosco. What is Tosco all about? Supporting tourism and conservation. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Mm. And what is the fire, uh, you say the fireworks, how does it work? Yeah, you just put them on the red things, you see how thin the fireworks. So you put like this, and then you remove this one. Okay. There's a rope here. If you remove this one, there's a rope. Okay. Here, you bend this rope, and this is a rocket. Okay. This rocket flying up on the air. Oh. So it's, I think it's better than to show you at the evening time. When I, for this time, when you show, when I show you at the evening time, they can light. You see the light when it's flying air, in the air. Okay. Yeah. And does it help? Does it chase the lions away? Yes, yes, yes. It can help. It can oh. help. Just only the sound when you. So you use it for the sound. Yes, for the sound. It's not to kill the lion. Just only to. The aim is to scare them away. To scare them away. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Rodney. You're welcome. Thank okay. you very much. <laughs> So we came to begin research on desert elephants, and so you've, you've read about the two species of elephants in Africa. I know that's uh, another different job you're doing, but you're part of the people we have to protect. So be guided. If we call you back in a second, do that favor for us. So now, this elephant is going this way. Eh? We all agree because of the kick of the sand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm? Yes. Mm. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. The kick of the sand, like, hand walks like this. So the same here. Mm. 
Especially this one. This one is nice and clear. Oyo Congo Pemi, the big one we said. But big left or big right? The big right. This one. Mashuari. Ninki. So like this is your animal and this is the hind legs. This is a back ah, the front one, sorry, the front one here. There is always here is just a tail, but here is where the head is. So this one must be stronger than the This is a bones. It's a lot of bones here. Some of them for the kutus. But you know the problem when this is uh, mortalities. Yeah. It's just coming from these mortalities. Dead lines. How is the line? How is the teeth of the line look like? You see? The head of the lines. What, would, what, what is the, the lessons what one can learn out of this? Between tourism and conservation, I think um, there's, a, there's a responsibleness. You must do it, you must travel the responsible way. And you must also understand that the local communities, when they, they bear the price of cohabiting with wildlife, you must also understand their their way of thinking. The, um, for me, when when I hear stories about in maybe 30, 40 years ago, when there was lots of poaching in Namibia, some people managed to make them understand that yes, when there is poaching, you get something today. You get money today, you eat today. What about next week? What about next month and next year? If people who were coming to see that animal take pictures of animals, the animals are no longer there. They won't come anymore. So the mentalities changed amongst the local communities and I find it fascinating. It's positive. It's positive, it's fascinating. And it's great how people managed to change their mentalities and the people who were killing the animals, poaching them, started to actually protect them because they understood that, okay, tomorrow I get something. What about six months? I won't have anything left. If all the rhino dies, I won't have any left. So they, anything they, left. They, they, they changed their mentalities. The they, 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 they changed the value they of the animal. Value. Yeah. And instead of killing them, they started to protect them, to safeguard them. They are their guardians. So for me, Namibia is a beautiful example. It's a role model into protecting the natural resources. And tourism is playing a part into that because the money that the tourism industry is like, um, generating. generating a part goes back into conservation projects and helping those people on site, in the bush, protect these animals. So, it's a role, Namibia is a role model. It's actually amazing what's happening here. Camera rolling. So Action. for me, Verald's End is a place where people can find inspiration. Because mm -hmm. it's where conservation started. And I think um, for any organization, uh, especially the ones that work, that have offices in town, it's very good to come back here to the roots of conservation to 
think are we still doing the right thing or are we carried away by the fast fast life of the world around us because in um, in town um, you are always distracted by everything else that is happening in the world and around you so it's very busy um, and you forget sometimes um, what the core of conservation is about and when you come here to battles and it reminds you conservation is about community-based natural resource management CBNRM so are we still with what we do are we still helping the communities because at the campfire where we were sitting this morning that's where everything started with with a few people that were well discussing what conservation should should be about and it's nice to come back there from time to time and have these similar discussions again so for us also for tosco it's uh, it's also where tosco was born actually it was at the same place so even for us as an organization it's nice to come back here and to think okay are we still doing what tosco was built for what tosco was made for um, which is for helping the communities that live with wildlife I want this to fit this camera is not rolling so camera rolling and action so I'm here at Farrell's end I came here for a film training and it was really fun we uh, learned all the techniques about capturing animals and the beautiful scenery I, I actually first time it was keeping the camera still and second it was the settings but uh, we quickly quickly overcame that with the, the brilliant assistance of our our teacher I would suggest to in future more of those trainings to happen uh, so that we can equip the people in the communities with the skills of uh, videography. I'm at Veral Center and have learned about the elephant behavior. And I, I don't want even to this program to end up here. And I, I want more, I want uh, I want even the instructor to put the more effort to for this program for next future also. During this uh lessons that you uh, during the, the, the training what were the challenges that you experienced i experienced challenges just only about my camera uh, just uh, my setting of my camera that's all what i have in there. Uh, so other than that is there something else you can tell us yeah but the the only thing is what I need is just only the this uh, the program you know, can end up here, so that they can have to take more people involved in this program for the for the next future. So how do you think that can benefit your community? I think that is better for us people to go involved and teach them. I mean, my community that's that so that they can be, uh, get better knowledge about the behavior of the elephant. When we had the first interview, we spoke about we are here to be trained about film crew assistant. Now this is the end of it. This is the last day. This is our last day here at Barrel's End. It was quite well, it went well. I think all of us were fast learners. We, we, we didn't have those difficulties in some of those things but then yeah the settings was a little bit tricky for everybody but my the problem that I had with my camera is was the stabilization I couldn't stay stable so but then that was the first day the second day the third day I got it right so we are on track was it important for you to take in uh, as a crew, crew 
I mean fame through your assistant. Was I proud? Mm. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm very proud to have this advantage. Because not all of us have this advantage. Because now I'm, I'm one step ahead the other people in my community, let me say. So, I was very proud. And I'm very thankful to Tosco, Belinda, Jens, all the people that made this possible for me. Because if it wasn't for them, we could have not learned about cameras. We could have not known what is a GoPro. We could have not known the different series of the GoPros. So. What was in your intention to, or oh, even important topic which you have gained in this, pro, in this uh, uh, program? The, the, what was the most important lessons I have learned here? Mm. The most important lessons that I have learned here was, as I said in the, in the beginning, there is no limit to exploration and there is no limit to what you can learn. Learn as much as you can while you can. So the lessons that I have learned here is that not everybody have the privilege of learning this. Not everybody have advantages to, let's say to our new, what do you call it? This is a Go, or GoPro. Not everybody, let me say, let's talk about the phones. Not everybody have that advantage of having an, a smartphone. So some of us, we can operate this, but if you are willing to learn, you will be able to operate it. And the, I, how I want this to feed back to the community and how I want the TOSCO and this whole program to go forward. I will, okay, thank you. I want this, I, I want it to go further. This is this, the whole, pro, the whole training and all these things. I want them to expand it and bring more people into this. Because that way we will we'll work much faster and much easier. Like for instance, the, uh, we, we are the first people and we are only three. Maybe when they are holding the second training, they should, in, uh, they should take, let's say, about six people the next time. And then just like that, just to expand the whole thing that we are doing here about uh, film crew assisting. Thank you.